Hey guys, so I wanted to do a more in-depth review of the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. So this is the part two of the last video that I posted where I showed you guys what the mascara looked like on my lashes. And this is the mascara that I'm talking about. It is the original Maybelline Great Lash. And I say that because all the wands are different. They have a lot of different wands, but it's the straight one and it's in the shade Very Black. Okay, as for the rating, I gave this an 8 out of 10. I think it's a really good mascara, but I do think it is a very natural mascara. It gives you a lot of length, but not a lot of volume. As for the curled versus non-curled side, on one side of my lashes, I did use a lash curler just to see the difference and show you guys the difference. So. For the overall thoughts on the curled side, the lashes look darker and fuller, not as thin. The lashes did start to clump faster than the non-curled side, but the clumpy lashes looked better on the curled side than on the non-curled side. So once they did clump, I felt like the curled lashes did look better on that side. It did seem like the amount of lashes was less on the curled side just because it appeared to be more like a little bit more volume, not much, but it did look a little bit fuller. Whereas on the non-curled side, it did appear like I had more lashes. And then I felt like on the curled side, the lashes were a little bit less natural looking, you know, because they weren't as thin. As for the non-curled lashes, I felt like it gave you more of that very natural look that imitated your actual lashes, but just darker and longer. But the lashes appear a lot thinner than on the curled side, so you had really thin lashes. So if you like that more natural look, I think not using a lash curler is better. The lashes didn't clump as fast either. But when they did start to clump, which is after layers, I felt like it did look worse on the non-curled side than on the curled side. So I would say if you want to not use a lash curler, just make sure you're not applying a lot of layers. And also a good thing about the non-curled side was it did appear like you had more lashes because they weren't clumping at all, pretty much, for the most part, until you got to a lot of layers. And then I will go over how each coat was. I have my notes ready for this. Okay, so for the first coat, it was very natural. It looks like your lashes. I didn't see too much of a difference. The curl definitely shows up better the curled side whereas the non-curled side was thinner and it didn't show up as well on the second coat kind of the same thing but you see the mascara a little bit better still very natural the curled side um curled side shows up better than non-curled side the non-curled side was thinner lashes don't look as dark either for now for the third coat i thought it really started to look nice so you have the natural lashes but with more length Curled side lashes appear darker and fuller. Non-curled side lashes appear thinner, not as dark, but more separated. And I did find that on the third coat, you had like a nice amount of mascara. So if you stop there, it was pretty good. Now, if you want it to be like a little bit more length, I would say fourth coat was good. By the fourth coat, the natural lashes had more length just starting to see a little bit of clumps, not much. The curled side lashes appear to be darker and fuller, slightly more clumpy, but barely. Non-curled side lashes appear thinner, but more separated, and it looks like there's more lashes. Now on the non-curled side, wasn't clumpy. 
Okay, so for the fifth coat, lashes have a lot more length, but still natural. The curled side, lashes look nice and long. Lashes look more enhanced and dark, only slightly clumpy, but barely. On non-curled side, lashes look slightly more clumpy and lashes are thinner. Now for the bottom coat, I didn't, this mascara, basically it, you could barely see it the first coat. The second coat, you saw it a little bit better. And obviously the more layers you did, the more it would show up. I didn't love the mascara on my bottom lashes, but it was okay. And that, that is overall all my thoughts on the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara.